everyone, look what I have. Kira Sky's dip powder in the new ice cream parlor collection. So here I'll be filling my last dip powder set, but this time, my first time ever with colored dip powder. I swear my hands don't normally look this awful until they're magnified under these cameras and this light. Anyways, I filed off all my old stuff and now I'm just dehydrating. The first step in the system is bond. This is to ensure the dip powder will attach and last on my nails. So just apply this on the regrowth of the natural nail part. So they have six colors to pick from in both dip powder and gel polish. So the first color I decided to choose was cherry on top for my pinky. Second step in the system is called base. You'll cover the nail in base and then dip into the powder and tap, tap, tap that extra off. Let that dry and wipe off the extra powder with a fluffy brush. Then base again, cover the nail, and re-dip and wipe again. And then base again, but this time you're gonna dip it in clear powder. I know this seems repetitive and that it would take a long time, but it's actually really fast and kind of fun. So next is Seal Protect. This is required for any dip powder application. This will be the nail sealer that hardens the powder. This will be so that the nail can be drilled, filed, or buffed. Aw, how sweet. This one's called You Make Me Melt. So this is the next one I'm doing on my ring finger. How fitting. I'm gonna apply base, dip, tap, brush, base, dip, tap, brush, easy as pie. So now that I've shown you how to do this, it's pretty simple, you know, base, dip, wipe, etc, etc, seal protect. I'm just going to go through this really fast on speed motion, just so you guys can see the other colors. Okay, so I only have five fingers and we have six colors. So I thought I'd do some sort of like ombre effect with the pink champagne and peacheroo. So I applied the base all over the nails and then I tried to use a little fan brush to kind of sprinkle the colors on top, hoping that this would make them blend, which it didn't. I ended up waiting too long and it didn't fully cure the color, so... I applied base again and tried again with the fan brush. And here's where I went wrong by getting impatient and then dipping it, creating this line. Then I tried to fix it by fan brushing more pink on. And this orange is just way too overpowering. It just didn't work. So this didn't work out at all. So I had to fix this. So I filed it all off. Okay, so let's try that again. We know where we made mistakes. So I'm just gonna apply this base and then I'm gonna try to cover the nail all in pink. So I'm going to do full dip and then I poured my orange into this little container where it's supposed to help you do smile lines and I applied the base all over the whole nail and I'm just going to try what I've seen other people do which is dip the thumb into the orange peacheroo. Uh, where's my perfect smile line though? Let's try that again. Mm. I don't think I did it right. Okay, so I know I can fix this mess. So I'm applying base again, and I'm going to sprinkle Feeling Nutty, this gorgeous holographic silver on top. But that didn't cover it up enough, so I decided to cover it in base all again and dip my whole finger in the silver. Eh, good enough. So here's how the finished result looks before filing. 
So I'm just using a medium carbide and I'm just going around the cuticle area to clean that up and then I'm going to file the nails and I already have a video on how I file nails but I'm just doing it a little bit more gentle because this is dip powder. Was too hard to hand file on camera so here's how they look after hand filing and I've sprayed them with alcohol I'm just doing a cleanse and now I'm applying Cura Skies no wipe gel top coat on top of all of these and fully curing that so shiny so now I'm applying Cura Skies dip system nourishing oil this is number five in the system I'm just applying this on my cuticle area to replenish my skin so what do you guys think would you wear these colors uh, which one's your favorite and let me know in the comment section what else you'd like to see from Cura Sky I also decided to put them with monomer so here's what they look like uh, swatched with monomer instead of doing a dip system way which as you can see some of them look a little bit more marbleized but I just make sure to tell my clients that when they pick the color it will appear a little bit more marbleized. The dip system also comes with nail polish and gel polish in the same colors so you can go with dip system or gel polish or nail polish so these are the colors in gel polish. I hope you guys liked this video. If there's anything else you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section. Check out my description box and don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye!